These are the spare parts for the acid trade machine, including N, F, and E flute rolls. Also, glue rolls and breast rolls. Now we commence on the main machine. We're now looking at the rewind se section, which leads into or from the Isawa single facer section, which is completely enclosed in sound booth. the beginning of the bridge viewing into the Isawa single facer from the Wii rewind section. Now looking side on at the Isawa single face section, the control cabinets, the vacuum system and the initial reel stand which is hydraulic lift but with solid core chucks the sound booth, bridge, and control panel. This is the cassette entry side of the single facer. Unfortunately, the lighting is not so great, but it is all in very good condition. Here we have control cabinets for the machines. Now we found the light switch so I can show you the cassettes in a more flattering light. These are the end flute rolls which are in good condition. It looks as though they've been running narrow widths, they haven't been using the full width of the single facer because of the size of the laminate. Here we have an overall view of the wet end of the machine, including the reel stand, the Olivini sandwich belt, leading onto the bridge the web guide leading down onto a duplex that is double preheater section at the end of the bridge again the end of the bridge the preheater section into the underfloor accumulation section leading into the acetrade laminator. The acetrade laminator has a Maybeg feeder, which is probably one of the best feeders. And I am informed that the complete suction feeder was replaced new three years ago. I have examined it and it is in very good condition indeed, as is the rest of the machine. We then go into the single face bridge section for the laminator and the laminate, laminator glue section. Just before the glue station is the slitter scorer. And here you have an example of the slitting of the single face line before it goes into the laminating section.
The knives are razor slit so that you get a very precise, clean cut. Leading into the glue application section with the glue tray and then leading on into the chop knife section. Here we have a close-up of the direct drive chop knife section which I'm also informed has a cut to mark facility. Here is the lead-in for the laminate sheet which is laminated onto the single face corrugator roll which then leads into the compression section and on into the top compression section into the accumulator or stacker and then into the turnover device before it then feeds into the automatic single down stacker. Here we have an overall view of the laminator section, including the hopper accumulator and the turnover device, the compression section, and the laminator section, with the glue unit, chop unit, all prior to or after the wet end of the corrugator section. Some more control cabinets. Together with some more spare parts and also spare vacuum pump. together with yet another cupboard of numerous spare, spare parts and belts which have already been photographed but not completely specified yet. There's also behind the box a spare drive motor for the cutoff plus many gears. Here we have the double preheater section with the rotary joints, the glue in the steam input, more of a real stand, and also some more very expensive spare parts and bearings. Here we have the starch mixing plant, which is single bag mix. The mixing tank is above the distribution tank and is loaded in this instance from the top floor or mezzanine floor of this section. It's very simple. Everything is complete. The tanks are clean and the pumps are clear. For the purposes of this video, I am videoing the air compressor which is currently not included with the machine I repeat not included with the machine at this moment this is a subject of discussion this is the air compressor receiver but again this is not with the machine there is a small receiver alongside the compressor this receiver, I think, may be part of the central system 
or an offshoot of the existing compressor, probably the latter. But if I can get this item priced, I will advise. An appendix, these are some more valuable spare parts, rotary joints and possibly other items which are again included with the machine. Finally, there is a virtually new ripper tape attachment for the acid trade, which is shown here, plus some additional parts for the acid trade. Another omission, this is the vacuum system for the Olivini cassette single facer, which is in a separate housing alongside the machine.